Hey guys, welcome to the channel Adventure Travel and Scuba. Thomas here. Another video. I haven't made any videos for a while. Still snow outside and we are in uh, past mid-March now. But uh, what I found on Amazon is the foot pedal for the Africa Twin. And they're saying it's uh, forged aluminum, but I'm not sure how the aluminum is forged. Uh, to me, it's a uh, machine cut and uh, should be like anodized aluminum or something like that. And last year when I was riding, I bent my brake pedal and I decided to upgrade to this thing here. And the main reason why I decided to upgrade, because in case you drop the bike, this thing here actually swivels and it falls back. So that's a very nice design. And when I'm looking at the quality of it, even though it is uh, some Chinese manufacturer, uh, it was on Amazon selling for 42 bucks Canadian. It looks very good quality. Um, I don't see nothing that would be different than what you would buy, let's say from SW Motec. Most likely it's also manufactured somewhere in China. And uh, another great feature is grip here on top. You got those little knobbies that are sticking out and it gives you a little bit of a grip. I didn't like the size of the OEM brake uh, pedal as well on uh, Africa Twin because it was too short. Well, I bought an extension also from AliExpress for like eight bucks or something like that. And it did the trick for a while. But last year, as I mentioned, I dropped the bike, it bent. I was able to bend it back, but I don't want to take the chance if that uh, spot is already weak and uh, I would run into trouble if it, uh, the bike drops again and I'll be basically with no uh, brake lever. So that would be a good idea at this point to have it replaced. So we'll jump into this video. There's nothing really complicated to replace this thing. I'll show you basically one bolt and then just a matter of how how do you want it adjusted. Um, even though this is also small, but it is a little bit much more surface than uh, the OEM. So I hope that I will be okay with the amount of uh, surface that I have here on a brake. So to remove the brake lever, it's a 12 millimeter uh, socket or wrench, whatever you wanna use here. And I have mine set up actually flush. And this is the extension that I've added on the OEM. And it is actually bent this way. We'll take that off. So the bolt has to come out all the way because it's locking the thing from the back. There we go. And we'll keep that as a spare. So you, you see it's uh, bent right there a little bit. And this is just the extension. So I will compare that. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually about the same surface. Maybe I'm gonna be able to reuse this. I don't know, we'll see but then I would have to remove those things here. But anyways, let's not worry about this part because it's just about comfort, I guess. My main concern is if that's fitting the way I want it to fit. Gotta go higher. You just gotta find out what bolt size is this thing. This bolt here is a nine millimeter Allen key. Most likely I'm gonna move this back a little bit because there's one more slot. I think it might be too far, but I'll check it out first. Yeah, it looks like I have to move that back if I can because uh, to my liking, it's a little bit too far out. It uses a four millimeter Allen key. All right, 
right, let's check it out one more time. Yeah, way better. Because normally I would have to put the foot a little bit more forward, but here, actually with this thing here, it grabs it nicely, it doesn't slide. So I don't see a need of adding anything. Yes, with this adjustment, so that's almost identical to where the OEM would be located. If you have a larger foot, you may want to move that forward, but for me, it does the trick. I don't see any reason to do any more. Just tie that up for sure. There's a spring washer in there. Yeah, it actually looks pretty slick. And if you're interested in that, I'll submit the affiliated link below so you can purchase it uh, 42 bucks on Amazon. Can't go wrong. It looks actually very nice. And it's matching my gear shifter on the other side. Uh, might as well show you the gear shifter if you haven't watched my previous video that I changed a couple years ago. That also folds if you drop the bike. And that was actually not from Amazon, it was from AliExpress. But also you can adjust it. How far do you want it to be? You have uh, the whole length here, from here to here, that you can move the uh, shifter lever whichever direction you want it. It actually works very well. And uh, there is also an extension that you can, if you want it longer, uh, that came with it, but uh, I don't want it longer. It's uh, more than enough with this length. It's uh, pretty nicely designed and it's also made out of aluminum. So you, most likely <laughs> you're saving a little bit of uh, weight. If you really picky for me, it's, I don't really care, but uh, that's how that looks. So this is it for this video, nice and short, nothing really to it, JFC racing uh, brake pedal. If you broke your pedal somewhere before and you're looking for a replacement, that's probably cheaper option versus buying the OEM. I'm not even sure how much is it, but I found this one while I was browsing for one and uh, it was a go and it looks also decent and the quality is also okay. So anyways, uh, if you found that video helpful, if you like the content on this channel, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.